my gems and jewels. You don't know me from anywhere, but my name is Diamond Surge, and I welcome you to Fortnite, actually. Um, and I just wanted to hop on here because they have this um, march through time thing for their uh, creative world. And I wanted to do it for uh, Martin Luther King's birthday. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to see what they had in store. It's presented by time. So um, they said it's some kind of cool collaboration they were doing where you can, like, walk through time or, like, and hear his speech or whatever like that. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, pay homage to Martin Luther King Jr. I'm sorry, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And let's have some fun. Why do I have to do this with other people? What the heck? Okay, so we got the museum in the middle, the Washington Monument. We got stacking, falling through time, the library, duo puzzle, gravity game, maze, climb the mountain, pillars of justice, relay race, Lincoln Memorial. Um, I mean, okay, I guess. Wow, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Not me lagging though. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I've ne never actually heard this audio, this so decree came this is pretty significant. As the red beacon light of hope for millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering and, and this was not that long ago is that's just what's crazy somebody alive right now had to deal with this kind of stuff of your grandparents but 100 years later the negro still is not free still not 100 years later they call it a prison now. The life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. Still. 100 years later. Still. Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. 100 years later. The Negro is still languish in the corners of American society. He finds himself in exile in his own land. Man. So we've come here today. To hear this in real time back then, like, obviously it's powerful, right? But to hear it in real time, when you just feel hopeless, the architects of our republic he is so brave to be standing up here doing this and you know i'm not saying anything new we all know this but they were signing a promissory note to whichever american was to fall out this note was a promise that all men yes black men as well as white men would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as her citizens of color are concerned. Still. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check. A check which has come back marked insufficient funds. Look how many people. Wow. But we refuse to believe that 
that the bank of justice is bankrupt. <laughs> we refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. So we've come to cash this check, a check that will um excuse you, sir. The riches of freedom <laughs> and the security of justice. Why he just put his crotch in my face? He did that on purpose. See, I don't know what he's saying that went in one ear and out the other, but thank you, Martin Luther King Jr., for what you have done for my people. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time. And we still working on it. We should not have any conversation about the, the problems that black people are having in America right now, African American people are having right now. Like, It would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. This sweltering summer of the Negro's legitimate discontent will not pass until there is an invigorating autumn of freedom and equality. 1963 is not an end, but a beginning. Those who hope that the Negro needed to blow off steam and will now be content, will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. Yeah. Look at all these fashionable people. <laughs> Discussions about, oh, they won't employ me because of my hair. Kids getting kicked out of school because of their hair. Like, that kind of stuff? Are you serious? Still, we're having this conversation? People still in schools and colleges and stuff going back to, like, whites only and this only and stuff. Like, in my own school, people are having problems with that. Like, it's, it's not gone yet. It's still here. America is still very racist. We're still fighting for representation. I'm sorry for talking over you, Martin. We must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Dr. King. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. Mm, a lot of black people are uh, turning around and being like, I hate white people and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's definitely not what we need to we do. We must ever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical power. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. Y'all are strong. They were getting beat, we dog sicked on them, the shot with fire hose and we all that stuff. Literally getting beat, and they would not fight back. Satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors 
Still, 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 police brutality. Still to this day, police are taking out our young black kings and queens across America. We still have this conversation. We cannot be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We can never be satisfied as long as our children are stripped of their selfhood and robbed of their dignity by signs stating for white only. That's crazy to me that that's that was real life. How are you gonna say I got I can only use the dirty stuff? Because my skin color is different from yours. That's crazy to me. Who are you? Who are you? Thank you. The kids who had to grow during this time. Yeah, that's crazy. No, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty spring. Prison systems, the new slavery. Left you battered by the storms of persecution, staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Yep. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama, go back to South Carolina, go back to Georgia, go back to Louisiana, go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities. Uh -huh. Knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. We came a long way, Martin Luther. Martin Luther King Jr. I say to you, came a long way, but we still got a long way to go. These people are alive still. Some of these people. We face the difficulties of today and tomorrow. These people from their generation that's in our government. They're the ones making the rules still. So I feel like we are progressing. So it's going to be the next generations and the next generations that's get into office. That's going to really change things up. nation will rise up. Live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in Oh, wow. Look at that. I have a dream. Wow, they gave me shivers. The red hills of Georgia. Sons of former slaves and the sons of former slaves. Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. One day, even wow. the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. Wow. He knew it was coming. He knows we can do it. That's crazy to me. One day live in a nation. One day. Not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a one day. We haven't made it there yet, but one day. I hope. But it's been so deeply rooted. I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> I have no idea. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little 
white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. And more places are more progressive than others. You got people in places where they're like, what do I care if you're black? But some, like the, the South still, they still got a problem. The old people still got a problem. Hatred is not learned. Well, with this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a soul of hope. With this faith, we will be Hatred is not, um, you're not born with hate in your heart. I'm trying to think of the words. Hatred is taught. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Yeah, and that's another thing. Them Europeans came over here and said, I discovered this land. Forget the Native Americans. This is our land. Europeans, man. Don't want to get political. Don't want to get, you know, touch on people's toes, step on people's toes. But them Europeans, y'all been the ones to cause all this misery in the world, really. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. From every mountainside. Let freedom ring to be happy. When we allow freedom to ring. When we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, free at last. Wow. Wow. Look at how many people. Look at this, bro. Pleading for just our dignity, pleading to be treated equal. Like, why is that even a conversation? It's so crazy. All right, and now we get to explore uh, the world. So, I want to go check out the museum. Why not? And here we are, the museum, Birmingham campaign. Yeah. See, I told you with the hose right there. The dogs right there. Like, obviously, I'm not saying anything new again, but separate but unequal. Yep. Colored. Colored. That's just, I could not imagine living in this time. Wow. Rosa Parks arrested because she didn't want to sit in the back of the bus anymore. She didn't want to be treated like dirt anymore that's crazy to me we've come so far but we have a long way to go wow desegregation in public schools i personally um think that for my people black people i think we would have been better off uh staying segregated to be honest because us what does it really do with us being desegregated if we would have had our own stuff, like Harlem, guys, black people in Harlem were doing it up. We had our own businesses. We had our, we were teaching our people. We know us, right? So I feel like if we stayed segregated, we would be right up there, right up there with the white people. But the white people said, okay, okay, okay. 
will desegregate, will desegregate y'all, but y'all gonna have the lesser stuff, right? Like, I feel like they just would've let us do our thing wherever we were, we would've been up there. But they got to make all the rules because we would take any little bit that they give us. And now look where we are, still fighting, still playing by their rules. And I don't think it's gonna end anytime soon. As long as people are teaching their kids to hate other people, this stuff is not gonna stop. March Through Time is an exhibit that explores the pivotal moments of the civil rights movement and the power of everyday people standing up against racial inequalities. Wow. People are still being judged by the color of their skin. History trivia? Oh gosh, I'm not good with history but let's let's try it out a form of protest that activists use to fight against segregated seating in restaurants and diners oh i think that was probably b no Woohoo! a group of white and black civil rights activists who traveled across their american south together to protest segregated bus terminals yeah the freedom riders right Woohoo! Yeah! In which city was the I Have a Dream speech delivered? Uh, DC? Woohoo! Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech on the steps of the, I don't know, the Lincoln Memorial since we saw Lincoln in that clip. Woohoo! Four out of four. Let's go. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And now we have one more, okay. On December 1st, 1955, she refused to give up her bus seat to a white man. This incident helped spark the Montgomery bus boycott. And that's gonna be C, Rosa Parks. Oh yeah. Okay, and I am lagging. I don't know why they just took me here to high school. Uh, I did not wanna come back to high school. Please take me back. Add your light. Okay, I'll add my light. There we go. Oh, wow. This is kind of cool. Oh, we can't go up there. Oh, we can. Oh, we can't go right there. Okay. This is where he gave his speech, I guess. Wow, look at all that room for people to be. And here's the Lincoln Memorial. In this temple, as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the Union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is... What does that say? Um, Enshrined forever. Okay, gotcha. That was a really um, beautiful speech, though, honestly. Like, it's powerful. It gives you hope. But I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to make his dream come true. Because, I mean, it's so much easier to hate rather than be compassionate. And it's too many people that have hate in their hearts that want to spread that hate just for no reason, it's because they're miserable. Pretty nice, and uh, time, they they put it together. I mean, I like the, the trivia, it wasn't too hard, but definitely some of the most uh, important things to know about your history. And not even your history, really, just history in general. People should know their history. And that brings me to the point of people in school, like in high school, they're not teaching history like as it happened they're teaching a revised history how they want people to remember it when it's really not like that they always downplay the role america took and in the injustice of black people for how long i mean ever since they first went to africa like it's been so long i mean <laughs> but that's why we have to keep our history alive and share with people like yes this is where we've come from this is where you've come from but we can work past it people just can't get over their own disgusting ways really i do not think this is gonna work i don't think this is gonna work but let's just try it out and see why so many people come in here, bro? Get away. Dang, they all over. Like, chill, bro. Chill. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Hopefully. Oh, is that a... <gasps> is that a llama? Yo! Get 
shit over here, llama. Man, I should have got a uh, gun. This is my first time seeing a llama since I been back. Hello. Does he only get ammo like? Oh, okay. I didn't have much time to do anything with him, but uh, okay. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I remember when they were just stationary. And I'm surprised I'm not lagging. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm trash, okay? So don't expect any fire plays. I'm garbage at this game. But that don't mean I can't play. That don't mean I can't have fun still. Anybody around? Anybody around? I see no one. I need a weapon. It's this is sad. I still don't have a gun. Still, what am I doing? Ain't no way I'm gonna. And also, I always suck at harvesting. I always miss out on getting material. That's like the last thing on my mind. What? What? Huh? They fall over now? Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's actually crazy. I have never seen that. Any weapons? Any weapons? Right, stop rolling away! Stop rolling away, dude! That probably makes a lot of noise. I bet it does. Bro, chill. Chill. Oh my gosh! Timber! And I am lagging, guys. But come on, I, I wanna at least do something for Martin Luther King. This is for you, Dr. King. How many people are left? 41 people. Well, I made it in the top half, at least. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who? 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 Why? What? At least he didn't hit me. That was close. That did scare me, but I don't see nobody. I don't like playing Fortnite alone because I'm bad at this game. And I feel so so weird playing this game by myself it's like it's scary <laughs> obviously this is not a scary game right it's not a horror game but i'm scared like being by myself anytime somebody starts shooting at me i jump <laughs> and i know y'all gonna hear my uh my clicks and clacks when i try to put some work in but you know it's okay we're we gonna get through that should I keep that? I don't know. I like tomatoes, so let's keep the tomatoes. Oh god, they're here, guys. They're here. GG. What the? They got dogs? They got dogs, bro? They have dogs? I'm actually very confused. Okay, yeah. What the? I don't understand. Oh, the dogs is, ch are, is chasing him. GG. Good for me, I guess. Bro. Wildlife? This is crazy. Okay. What? Uh-uh. Get off me. What? That's crazy. We don't gotta cook this meat? We just gonna eat it raw? That's weird. But let's go to the action. I mean, there's no point in trying to... Oh, look at that. Let's go, uh, confront this person. And probably die. Uh oh It wasn't me. Oh my gosh, this person is a try hard, I bet. Look, I don't even have any, uh... Oh, that's first thing. What are you aiming at? 
Oh my gosh, I didn't hit a single shot. <laughs> oh, he was low too. Garbage. Alright. Well, that was fun. And with that, uh, I just want to thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for all that you've done for me and my people. We couldn't be where we are without you. Thank you. Rest in peace. That was just to pay my respects to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. They were offering something I was interested in for uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. I'm gonna keep say saying his name, keep saying his name, keep saying his name. So if you guys remember way back when, when I first got my PC, right? I gave you guys a code, a hidden code that I don't think anybody's found yet, actually. Nobody's said anything. So that code, and then I did a couple of live streams of getting over it. And I was trying to do a raffle, but nobody sticks around, you know, long enough for me to actually pull raffles. Like, I got, you know, I got names here, but instead of just doing a raffle, there's still, like, a week or two left uh, for the, I think, the YouTube subscription. I'm just gonna pop it on screen, and you guys can have that code since, you know, I couldn't do it how I wanted to. Obviously, you know. I was getting a little bit of views in my live streams, but nobody really messed with me yet, right? So, I'm just gonna give you that code, have fun with it, but the other code is gonna stay hidden. So, if you guys want that also, you can go ahead and try to find that. And I promise you that code is in my unboxing my first PC video. The code is in there, yes. I don't think it's hard to, uh, to read when you find it. It might be hard to find it, but when you do, it's not hard to read. So, uh, and I think that's about it. So, um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, liking, comment, subscribing, and sharing in that order. If you have any game suggestions you want to see on this channel, please let me know down in the comments below. And any feedback is always greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace.